Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another update video. The latest update for Apex Legends just went live and includes a whole bunch of new changes including the new Genesis Collection event which runs from today until July 13th. I'm going over that and plenty of other changes so let's jump straight into it. First, the return of the original King's Canyon and World's Edge. King's Canyon and World's Edge will be replacing regular trios and duos queue for the next two weeks. In one hour rotations you can replay the original King's Canyon map and Season 3 World's Edge. On top of the two maps being added, Skull Town from King's Canyon has been added as its own arena map for the duration of the Genesis event, playable also in one hour rotations with other arena maps. There will be new event rewards. The Genesis Collection event brings new rewards with all new earnable cosmetics, this time including Legendary Charge Rifle and the EVA 8 weapon skin among them. 24 unique cosmetics are also arriving, purchasable directly, or you can earn coins by playing daily event challenges. A new heirloom. After the Genesis Collection event ends, the Revenant heirloom will become available via the heirloom crafting if you manage to collect all 24 cosmetics from the event. Next, some of the legends are getting buffs and nerfs starting with Octane. The launch pad for Octane is being increased from its cooldown for 60 seconds to 90 seconds. For Revenant, he is slightly getting his hitbox limb down and you can see here in this image that his midsection arms and upper legs are slightly slimmed down compared to what they used to be. His stalker climb height significantly increased as well. It's not literally unlimited now, but he can climb pretty high now. Silence duration has decreased from 20 seconds to 15 and reduce the duration of death protection by 5 seconds while using the death totem. So those are some good buffs for Revenant. Lifeline on the other hand has had a slight increase to her hitbox size, mostly in the legs and waist. Bloodhound, who is used quite a lot these days, his Eye of the All Father scan reveal time has been decreased from 4 seconds to 3 seconds, and the Beast of the Hunt duration decreased from 35 seconds to 30 seconds. But time can still be added by downing enemies as normal. Watson, a major buff, Watson can now place more than one Nessie on the map at a time with her epic emote. So yeah, just a bit of fun on that one, but now 20 Nessies can be placed on the map between all the available Watsons in the game. Next are weapon balance updates. For the P2020, increase the fire rate from 6.25 to 7, increase the base ammo from 12 to 14, and of course that means that the level 1, 2, 3 and 4 mags have changed. So for level 1, it's 14 to 16, level 2, 16 to 18, and the level 3 and 4 mag, you will now get 18 to 21. The Spitfire increased the hipfire spread for the Spitfire, so that's a little bit of a nerf for that one. The 30-30 repeater slightly increased projectile speed and reduced charge time from 0.5 to 0.35. Lastly, the longbow damage increase from 55 to 60, making the longbow a little bit better. Next, we have some arena changes, starting with legend ability adjustments. Pathfinder's grapple star charges have been reduced to 2 from 3, his zipline round cooldown increased from every round to every other round. Rampart's Sheila round cooldown reduced from three rounds to every other round as well. Watson's interception pylon round cooldown increased from every round to every other round. Octane's launch pad is the same every other round instead of every round now. And his stim as well, starting charges reduced from two from three. Other changes added to the arenas added a scoreboard to the map screen. You can now report players by pressing space or Y in the map screen. From round 3 onward, you'll now start with a shield battery in addition to 2 syringes and 2 shield cells. Care packages will also land 5 seconds earlier to make the contained weapon more viable throughout the rounds. And a 6 scope move from the base sniper weapon to level 1 upgrade. For Party Crasher, adjusted the circle logic to favour downtime a bit more and simplify the minimap's visual language. For Face Runner, raise the cover height on certain props throughout the map to prevent unfair advantage to large rig legends. Added a few trees to reduce the ease of spawn sniping. The user interface for Purple Devotion now shows the attached turbocharger. Players will no longer be chosen as jump masters during the legend's select screen. Updated the sniper stock to show an empty slot when needed, and can no longer get stuck in the crouch position after dying while reviving a teammate during a round in arenas. All the weapon prices and utility prices and ability prices have all been changed. So the P2020 has been reduced in price. The RE45 has also been reduced. So has the Mastiff. So has the R99, the G7 Scout level 3 upgrade and the 3030 level 3 upgrade. But on the alternate side, the price has increased for the EVA 8. The Vault, the Spitfire, the L-Star, the R301 level 2 upgrade, the G7 Scout and the 3030. Both Gold Backpack and Arc Stars have been increased in price. 
Lifeline's Dark Drone has increased in price, and so has Bloodhound's Alt. But for Legend Abilities, the price has decreased for Crypto's EMP, his drone, Revenant's Death Totem, and the Fuse Knuckle Cluster. Next up, we have a couple of quality life changes. For Valkyrie, they've updated Fuel Gauge user interface to better indicate when you're using fuel and when you're running low. For Ramper, we'll now have custom animations for LMG reloads. This has no impact on her current reload times. Added a VO for other ultimate is ready or not ready. So now when your ultimate gets to 100%, you'll be prompted to tell your team with your new voiceover for each legend. At any point in time, you can ping your ultimate icon in your inventory to show your teammate what percentage you're at, and it will show in quick chat. Added a voiceover for when you enter a replicator, so now your teammate knows you're crafting and won't leave you behind. Added one for pinging a friendly trident. You can now turn off field of view scaling when certain abilities are used as well. Reduce the frequency of rings ending near out of bound areas like canyon walls or map edges. Healing items will now play the entire healing sound when used by other players instead of just the beginning and ending. And muting players will also mute text to speech. Plus guys, there is a whole bunch of bug fixes which you can see hopefully on the screen. That then is all of the changes in today's Apex Legends update, including patch notes and the Genesis event details. If you want to see straight to the point update videos for all the biggest shooter games, no clickbait, no 10 minute videos of the same info over and over every day, just official news and updates as they happen, you can then subscribe to our channel and help grow the community. Guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.